Today I am talking about management of blocked canals including some clinical tips for ledge bypass. Take an example of mildly curved infected canals. This is how it will look in cross section. If canal curvature is not followed during the preparation, it will lead to straightening of the canal. Regions may be aggressive cutting by stiff files or skipping file during preparation or not pre-curving the file etc. It can lead to a cell formation if the filing continues in same direction and make it more challenging to correct it. Management will start from copious irrigation with little apical pressure to wash out all the loose debris. This will help in preventing false catchy filling. The red area is the part where the file every time hit when you try to advance it in canal as you can see in the picture. Orifice should be enlarged to facilitate the insertion of file in the canal. The wall opposite to the direction of curvature should be straightened. File should be pre-curved before insertion. Pre-curving for ledge bypass is different than the pre-curving for glide path. As in this case only apical 2mm file should be bent. See the difference in the picture. Put file into the canal as the bent of the file should be towards the curvature and then go inside the canal. It looks very easy in the picture but before hitting at the right point it will hit in different areas. When the file hits a dentine it will be a solid feeling like hitting on the wall. Once it will go in the right area a catch or file sticking in something kind of feeling comes. This can take up to 1 to 2 hours. Once you get the catch, half work is done. There are high chances that you can lose the hold again. So keep the file in place and take an x-ray to confirm the direction. Then without removing the file, small up and down stock should be given to the file. Keep in mind that end of the file should not come out of self area. Rotary night eye files may not go easily beyond less. So first prepare the canal with hand files. Then try with rotary. Loss of working length during preparation can be the another cause of blocked canals. Lots of debris get collected at the apical end of the preparation and it will lead to blockage. Do copious irrigation with little apical pressure to wash out all the loose debris. In this case, when you put a small number of file to open the blockage, it will hit in different areas at the level of blockage and frustrate the clinician by bending every time on solid dentine. You may feel that small find is running here and there in preparation and bend very easily. Why not to take a bigger diameter file? But a lot of force is required to force a bigger file in canal which can lead to file breakage also. So we need a small number of file which will not easily bend and generate a lot of torque at tip. D finder and C plus file both fits in these criteria very well so you can use one of them. Another thing I want to mention here is a file shorter in length is more effective in generating torque and gives better tactile control. 21mm 8 number K file is good tool to negotiate ledges in blocked canals. Sometime if a ledge is very notorious I cut the tip of 6 or 8 number file around 1 to 2 mm for better tactile control. Watch winding motion that is quarter turn clockwise and then quarter turn anti-clockwise with little apical force is quite efficient. Give small continuous strokes to generate torque at tip. Mostly you will feel a solid hard feeling but look for a catchy feeling. Once you get the catch mark the direction in which you find the catch so that if you find it difficult to put it in the catch again direction can help. Once you reach the working length prepare the canal and then you can obturate it. Thank you.